ask you about uh, just Jay Prince. Uh, I know he's real. You know, he 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 cuts. You know, for you and the, you know the whole, your father and everything. How was it? You know, just your relationship with Jay. Oh man, Jay has been a um, been like an uncle and a brother. You know, he we used to do concerts a long time ago. Okay, and that's how we met Jay Prince. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. Yeah. That's something to be proud of too. Most people don't even look at it in a way to where they, you know, they think they tough because you get locked up. But really, really, I don't, I don't define it that way. You don't get no props for being locked up. That just means you got caught. That's That's exactly what that means. That's correct. (laughs) Let me let me ask you about uh, just Jay Prince. Uh, I know he's real. You know, he 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 cuts. You know, for you and you know your father and everything. How was it? You know, just your relationship with Jay. Oh man, Jay has been a. um, and like an uncle and a brother, you know, he we used to do concerts a long time ago. Okay. And that's how we met Jay Prince. So back in the nineties when we were doing shows, um, but it wasn't it wasn't people in the communities doing shows like the shows we were doing. So when they came and seen some black people having shows in arenas and it was a bunch of people there and everything was peaceful and everything, you know, they was interested in seeing like who was this that was doing that? And from there we met and the relationship just grew over years. And you know, I mean, you know how far back that is. That's yeah. the nineties. So. Yeah, that's the nineties. And we stayed in touch and you know, the relationship he just always, grew from there. Yeah, he spoke you live about your father, you know what I mean, in a in a good place. I yeah. think I even heard him on some of the And he's been to visit him and all that. That's right. You know what I mean? So he, he knows him compared to people who just think that he's um supporting them or hopping on the bandwagon he actually knows them yeah yeah and that's a that's a real that's a real situation what what is does your i'm gonna say what is your i'm gonna ask what is do you think that there is a solution to like what's going on in the in the shot right now like what's the ultimate solution to try to or is there one to kind of get people in another kind of mind frame outside of the one they end up there the youth all right, it's a, it, I say it's a couple things that need to be done. You know what I mean? As far as a solution right now, people going to have to accept their losses and move forward with their life. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you keep trying to revenge every death or everything that's done happen, it's never go in because you're going to be forever trying to get your lick back. And yeah. you go ever for li- for, go be forever living looking over your shoulder. Mm. You know what I mean? So... That's one thing. Then you have to have a different outlook on why is everybody shooting each other? Like, it's no reason to be trying to, <laughs> you know what I mean, kill each other over everything. You know what I mean? Every argument or disagreement is worth somebody uh, pulling out a gun and shooting somebody. Then everybody is the stick up man. It's always been stick up man, but now. Everybody is robbing everybody, and right. they not just robbing people. They, you know, they killing people. You know, you you have what you wanted from them, and they still killing. Like, why is everybody just killing? Why is it no respect for life? Like, you, you you're really not that hopeless. It's okay to, you know, live life a regular way, to work a job, to work your way to what you want. Everything don't just come right away. But we want everything now and right Does away. Does it seem like the city's doing something? Does it seem like they're trying to do something? Or does it seem like they're just letting it happen? It's for the most part, it's a lot of just kind of letting it happen. You know, they try to pay, they pay organizations to curb the violence or try to go see what happened after it happened. But it's a lot of things that need to be preventative before it gets to that point like the kids need to start learning how to relate and deal with each other before they even get to the age where they ready to try to resolution. take each other's heads yeah, yeah they need to learn how to do all that mm. yeah we on boss talk one on one